Oh my god. Oh, that pump is crazy. Oh my god, that's nasty. Ooh. All right, hi everybody. John Meadows here. We're back for another video. And so I did the video on cables for your arms in response to people saying their joints were beat up. Now there's another way to work your arms without real heavy weight to get them to grow as well. And that's just with higher reps. So I wanted to focus on a higher rep workout today for buys. Um, just to show you how you can keep your joints healthy but still blast your buys and get them to grow by simply using high reps. It's not cables, it's just generally raising your reps up. And we'll talk about how you do that, how you rest between the sets, all kinds of stuff like that. So this is gonna be building your biceps with higher reps for today. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do sets of 25 today. Now, it's probably, it's probably too many reps on an exercise if we do three or four sets. You know, normally you do an exercise, you do three or four sets. I don't really want to do 100 uh, reps on one exercise. So what we're going to do is we're going to do four exercises in two sets. So eight total sets at 25 reps a set is going to be 200 reps. I like that concept of using four exercises instead of just in one or two. Um, although you probably could make a good case for the other, the other way too. but. Now I'm used to working in an eight to 12 rep range. One of the things I've found over the years is that when you go out of that rep range, you just burn like fire. I mean, it, it, it gives you an intense burn. So the weight might feel really light at first, but once you get out of that rep range you're used to working in, it becomes pain tolerance until you get to failure. So normally I curl with like 35 pounds. I would say on my dumbbells. I'm gonna go down all the way to 20s now, I've already done one set, uh, and I can tell you when I, get, when I got to like 13 or 14, it just was a blow torch, it hurt so bad. Now, what you gotta realize is when you're training with higher reps and lighter weight, is you do have to get to failure. So, basic science says that, you know, you use a certain amount of muscle fibers to produce a certain amount of force, and if it's a lighter weight, then you're not using all the muscle fibers, they're not all producing maximum force, that's just common sense. But as you fatigue, you call, into, call more muscle fibers into play. So if you go all the way to failure, you're essentially getting all your muscle fibers to work. You're activating them, you're making them produce force, you're exhausting them, you're doing what you need to do. So the biggest key with bumping your reps up like this, up, up like this to 20, 25 reps, 25 reps in this case, is that 25th rep should be around failure. All right, it's much more important to approach failure on these higher rep sets. Also, that should tell you that eight sets of this is gonna be really hard, so let's see what happens. Set it, Mitchell. Okay, oh, wait, wait. second exercise was a spider curl. I can't even tell you how bad that burns. So I did my first set 40, but honestly, when I got to like 16, 17 reps, I couldn't do any more. So I, the reps got real sloppy. So I actually had to go down to 30 pounds. And once I got, again, once I got all that kind of 12 rep range, it just was straight fire. I got a maximum pump. You know, I hear people talk about how maybe the pump's so bad they can't even train. That's kind of how I feel right now. The pump is so crazy in my biceps, I can't even hardly bend my arms. So, two sets of 25 on a spider curl. So just a couple key points here. I like to go behind my head on a spider curl. Not, I don't see too many people doing that, but I like to do that. Um, it just adds a little bit more range of motion. And then, so if you've never done a spider curl, it's just simply using the flat part of a preacher bench. You could get creative and you could figure out other ways to do it, but basically you want your arms hanging straight down. Um, and then as far as grip, whether you use close, wide, whatever is comfortable in your wrist, whatever you feel comfortable, there's no right or wrong way. Uh, what's funny too is when you get tired at the bottom, like when you rest, it makes it even worse because you're sitting there in a stretch position. So there's really not much uh, <laughs> you can do here to, to kind of cheat and get more reps. You're just gonna feel intense pain, so. Get ready for some pain on this one. All right, next up is, you know, this is my favorite, one of my favorite two exercises for buys. It's also brachialis, because you have that neutral grip. But the bigger you get that brachialis muscle that sits under your buy, the more it'll push it out and make your arm look wider. So we're, we're uh, leaning back a hair. You're letting your arms hang down, uh, which is gonna put a lot of uh, stretch on your bicep at the bottom. At this point in the workout, with so much blood in there, a stretch is a very good thing. 
So on this one, again, 25, two sets 25. It's gonna burn like fire. Just work through the pain, squeeze. You're gonna start feeling a little bit in your forearms too. That's totally normal, that's cool. Don't, don't sweat it. Nothing wrong with having bigger forearms too. So, uh, hammer curls on a slight incline, I guess is what you would call this. Okay, the last exercise is a drag curl. Look, I admit my form is starting to suffer a little bit. My biceps are absolutely trashed. And they're so pumped I can barely move my arms. But uh, two sets here, 25 on the drag curl. Try to keep your elbows back. Uh, dra drag the bar right up your body. Uh, elbows back is a lot of long head of your biceps. That's kind of the outer part. But you're just gonna have to fight through the pain. I think I was down to 30 pounds or something like that and it still was just straight fire. This is one of the best pumps I've had in a long time for biceps. Absolutely insane pump. Very, very, very painful. So I'm anxious to hear how you guys do when you uh, do this workout. So anyways, that wraps it up for today. 200 brutal reps for biceps. Next up, triceps, stay tuned.